girls go, man. My favorite one yeah. was no, Andrew Zawaki like and, and Rob David like the and the drill instructor. Well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, I never <laughs> fucked up Drop and give me 20. With the backflip and all that. Yeah. That, that, was, that was the one I remember the most. My favorite memory of an announcement. There's, it's just. You pick one. Actually, I think I want to do it for you. Can I do it for you? Absolutely. All right. Hi, I'm Derek. Hi, I'm Rick. And we're physical and spiritual twins. Ah, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my. No, you do the handle. I just. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. My favorite announcement was uh, was actually the Brady Bunch. With, uh, with Kevin and Wade. That was my yeah. favorite. I was told on Thursday night to in this room by some it. of the guys who graduated. Uh, yeah, I, I would probably go with well, that's the, thing is you need the, uh, value. the days of our lives. Like, <laughs> you, we did it. Well, but he, you were the first guy. Right. I never have a solo. No one would have a choice. I would have a choice. So it was our homecoming concert, and Patrick was the pickpocketed guy. Right. And he... He goes up and just like word for word does like the whole Miss Teen South Carolina speech. They are not as big a part of the show as they were in at some points in the gentleman history. We stole the pickpocket announcement from another a cappella group many, many years ago when we were on tour up in Pennsylvania. And uh, we did that for several years, and it has gone through a number of interesting revisions over the years. Go. Get back to me. It actually rings as soon as you pick it up. One thing I learned last night at a concert is that you're not allowed to do toothpaste announcement anymore because it's considered hazing. <laughs> but anyway, it reminded me of our hazing skit that we had my freshman year, which was 1993. It was me, Matt Lyon, Aaron Loy, and also Leon Coward, who many of you never had a chance to see on stage. And the twist, because this is William and Mary, with the policy of self-determination, where you set your own dorm rules and things like that, we decided that each freshman would haze himself. And so that's about where the fun part of the skit stopped. But on stage, if you saw us, we, would, we made ourselves drop and give 20. We, uh, we had a paddle. We were hitting ourselves over the back with a paddle. We had, I mean, the crowd was roaring, but um, someone, uh, uh, someone's disabled aunt was sitting in the front row of the UC Auditorium, and I think I actually kicked my beer can into her face. And so I think my highest quality skit that I was ever a part of was my freshman final concert. It was Star Wars Jeopardy. Oh. And I, I don't know exactly who, I think Matt Lyon, I think it was, I think it was like his idea to some degree, but like all of the seniors, Hans and... So Savage was, uh, let's see. So Brian was Darth Vader, Jamie Wallace was Luke, uh, Hans came in as C-3PO halfway through. Um, but it was, we were like still writing it during the intermission of the final concert. It was like a 30 minute intermission. Right. Because we, we still didn't have the end of the skit, but it was. And the other thing is that they, they tended to, uh, you know, lack closure. Um, Cause it's, it's awkward to know uh, you know, what to do at the end and, and how to connect it to the next song or, or what's coming up. And, um, and that's always uh, hard to do. And um, 